So, so maybe then just to reference um, this, this timeline, because I think this holds uh, some of the key elements. So where we've got to is, is we've done some primary and secondary research, which has said to us, here are the four C's, you know, the, the four big categories uh, of challenge that we have around innovation ecosystem that we need to st strengthen significantly. What we did essentially with our group of 20 or so participating uh, organisations is just to have a look at mm. how Australia was stacking up relative to other important innovation players mm. uh, globally, particularly OECD. Mm. Um, and we identified these four areas, which yeah. was essentially around competencies, um, commercialization was another where we're not producing enough of those gazelles that mm. uh, I've heard you, you talk about and, and why that mm. is. Uh, we also identified collaboration, in particular, particularly collaboration with say CSIRO or research organizations and, and the abilities of corporates to do that in a, in a meaningful way. And then the final area, which was really interesting, uh, has been around culture. Uh, within those, we've identified these, these, these 10 initiatives. And so where we are at this point is that we will take those initiatives through a prototyping exercise. And that just means really taking it out to a much broader audience. So we've had 20 organizations involved in the discussion and, and formulating these ideas. We really need to check, sense check that with a much wider audience. Part of the challenge is, and we'll, we'll talk about it, you say, we're not collaborative. You say, okay, what do you want me to collaborate on? Because part of the problem is, unless you have an aspiration to collaborate against, yeah. it's sort of, well, I'll be friendly, you know, and right. yeah, it's nice to see yeah. Tim, and, you know. Yeah. But, but when Tim and I have got a shared, shared yeah. vision and purpose, yeah. you know, we want to, you know, I'm helping Tim make MYOB the accounting uh, cloud platform for the world, mm -hmm. then I'm, I'm going to collaborate with him. If yeah. there's any place where that might be the, the new way of working, um, and not that other ways of working within the BCA aren't really powerful and important too, but, but more and more these big challenges have to be actually yeah. solved collectively. It's in their self-interest to say, hey, if I could build relationships with, you know, between us, we've got this skill set, you know, you know, what do you need? There's that, there's benefit. So there's got to be a bit of self-serving here too, because yeah. that's where they'll go to. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you went out to BCA members and yeah. said, what skills will you need in five years? How many would be able to articulate a relatively crisp response? And, and then if you went back five years ago and looked yeah. said five years ago would you have imagined that you yeah. need what you need today I, yeah. I wouldn't have yeah. so you know I, I five years ago I, there's no way I would have thought that I'd be hiring yeah. who I'm hiring and that the skills are needed that I do need and and so on so I, I think it's I think it is a real challenge here what is that set of conditions that creates this unusual phenomenon uh, where we actually do have a gazelle coming out of Australia and you know becoming a, a, a world leader scaling yeah. uh, internationally. I wonder if there's any way for us to get a group of gazelles together to look through these and mm. say 10 years ago had this been in mm. place. This would have made a difference. Yeah or mm. what, what would have what this idea would need to have to have made a difference would be. Mm. If the innovation task force and maybe all the companies were able to, in a way, vote or, or we could quantify what it would take to get them off the ground and then people were willing to get behind it. In my view, is, is this transition of the workforce from a certain type of work. I mean, so if you go back and you think about just a revolution, you know, agrarian to more industrialized, it was a big shift and sort of, it's sort of similar, isn't it? It's, uh, you know, uh, we're doing less manufacturing, we're gonna be doing more, information intensive jobs and these certain do. So they're macro sort of trends, even articulating that yeah. and saying, look, we don't know, um, you know, uh, well, the exercise consoles didn't exist, you know, 30 years ago. In fact, you know, our parents would say, what do you mean you need an exercise console? You're paying Get out there to yell at you every that's morning. That's right, that's right. Get out there and do some work. <laughs> we need to see what is currently out there that's doing similar kinds of things you know is it effective or not you know should we be just doubling down on that and supporting it funding it mm. uh, providing resources or is there in fact a, a much bigger broader initiative that that is required that mm. could or should be supported by corporate Australia mm.